Wire rope slings are popular because they're made from metal and usually they're more durable than synthetic slings. Wire rope slings consist of smaller wire strands twisted together to make the wire rope construction. The higher amount of strands the wire rope has, the more flexible that it will be. A common construction of wire rope is six by 26. That means that it has six strands and in each strand, 26 wires. You can see on this piece of cable that we've unwound, we can count the strands. One, two, three, four, five, six. The center strand is what we call the core. And in this case, the core is an independent steel wire rope by itself. You can also have a fiber core. Each one of these six strands consists of 26 wires. Another construction is six by 36. This would still have six strands, but each strand would have 36 wires. The six by 36 is more flexible than six by 26 because the more wires there are, the more flexible the cable is. Benmore builds wire rope slings in diameters of quarter inch up to two and a half inch. When the cable is less than quarter inch, it's classified as a cable assembly, not a sling. To measure the diameter of the sling, you measure like this to catch the maximum outside dimension. This one here measures 5 eighths. The larger the diameter of the wire rope, the stronger the sling becomes. Wire rope slings can be produced in many different ways. The most common wire rope sling is what we call eye and eye, which has a loop like this on each end. To make I and I, we do what is called a splice. We unwind the strands of cable and then splice them back into itself. This is where the strength of the sling comes from. Then the loop is finished off with a steel sleeve and pressed on a hydraulic machine. Wire rope slings can also be produced with a thimble eye, like this. A thimble is a metal eyelet that protects the loop from damage. You can also put hooks on the sling, like this. You can have many different ends. You could have a thimble eye on one end, a hook on the other end, or an eye on one end, and a thimble on the other end. You measure the length bearing to bearing. What that means is the point at which the sling makes contact with the hook and the load. With this I and I style, the length would be measured inside the eye to inside the eye. Wire rope slings are also available in multi-leg bridle slings. Bridle slings have a master link or oblong ring at the top. They can be produced with two, three, or four legs. At the bottom of the multi-leg bridle slings, there can be a hook, an eye, or a thimble eye. This bridle is a two-leg bridle with hooks at the bottom. To measure a wire rope bridle sling, you do not include the master link at the top. So you measure from the inside of the thimble that are hooked on the master link to the inside of the bottom of the hook. Wire rope slings are designed for lifting and they must be labeled with critical information. You call the label the sling tag. The sling tag must have the name or trademark of the manufacturer the diameter or size, and a rated load for at least one hitch. There are three types of hitches that each sling can be utilized in. The first hitch is the vertical hitch, where the sling is connected to a crane hook or hoist hook at the top, placed in a 90 degree vertical line, and the bottom is connected to the load. The second hitch is a choker hitch. In this hitch, you're going to wrap the sling around the load, put one eye through the other, and this will go to the top connection hook to make the lift. The third and last hitch is the basket hitch. The sling is placed around and underneath the load where both eyes come up to the top. The rating on the tag is based at 90 degree basket hitch, which means that the two eyes come up at 90 degrees and attach to two separate hooks at the top. If you are lifting with angles, please refer to our angle chart in our catalog or on our website. 
Why a rope slings must be inspected before each use by doing a hand over hand inspection. The inspection criteria is on our website, but in short, you're looking for anything that might compromise the strength of the sling. Starting with the label, ensuring that all the mandatory information is legible. The manufacturer name or trademark, size or diameter, and a rated load for at least one hitch. Then, after the tag, you will check all of the wires inside of the loop, looking for any damaged or broken wires. Move the full length of the body, looking for any kinking, crushing, bird caging, or any other damage that causes doubt to the sling. Please refer to all our inspection guidelines on our website or in our catalog. The rule with inspection is when in doubt, throw it out. Wire rope slings can be protected by wear pads. Watch our wear pads video for more information. To get any further information on maximum temperature, chemical effects, and environmental considerations, please use the reference section on the Benmore website or refer to our catalog.